On December 4, 20, the Iranian military released a new type of air-to-surface missile called Gim-114, also called Kim-114. The shape of the bomb is basically the same as the AM-114 Hellfire air-to-surface missile used extensively by the US Apache gunship and the MQ-9 Reaper UF. The outside world believes that Iranian technicians have obtained the Hellfire missile from the United States and copied it. Through the publicly displayed pictures, it can be found that the Iranians have also equipped the missile with four different seekers, which expands its battlefield applicability. It can be seen from the photos that the Gim-114 missile is similar to the Hellfire missile of the US military, regardless of its aerodynamic design, size, or coating. The quadruple pylon of the missile is also very similar to the pylon of the US Hellfire, and the combination of the missile and the rack also uses slide rails. Iranian technicians equipped Gim-114 with four different seekers, and the pictures shown on the scene can identify three seekers. They are infrared imaging seeker, white light TV seeker and laser semi-active seeker. There is also a missile covered by a yellow protective cover. It may be the fourth type of millimeter wave radar seeker. The technical difficulty of these four types of seekers is different. White light TV and laser semi-active guidance technology are relatively simple. White light television guidance is very mature in Iran's grasp, and this is currently the most widely used technology in Iran's guided weapons. Semi-active laser guidance, Iran also has mature models on display. Infrared imaging technology is relatively difficult, but the option of infrared imaging heads has already appeared on SATID missiles. The most used air-to-surface missile of SATID is television guidance, and it is also equipped with semi-active laser and infrared seekers. However, Iran's current image recognition technology and automatic missile control technology may not be high enough, so most image-guided weapons have not been fired. The guidance of millimeter wave radar is the most difficult because this kind of missile needs to be used with airborne millimeter wave radar, and Iran does not have a mature and reliable small millimeter wave radar that can be carried by armed helicopters. The difficulty of developing such a radar is not small. Challenge. The AM-114 Hellfire is an air-to-ground missile developed primarily for the anti-armor role. It is a combat-proven tactical missile system using multiple launch platforms based on air, sea and ground. The Hellfire 2 air-to-ground missile system provides heavy anti-armor capability for attack helicopters. It is a 100 pounds class air-to-ground precision weapon delivering multi-target capability and precision strike lethality. The Hellfire 2 missile is in service with the armed forces of the US and 16 other nations. In August 2005, a Hellfire 2 missile was successfully fired from Australia's Eurocopter Tiger armed reconnaissance helicopter which is the first non-US platform to integrate Hellfire 2 missile. The US Army and three allies, including Lebanon, the Netherlands and France, will receive Hellfire missile systems under a separate contract awarded in April 2019. The US Army is, however, planning to replace the missile with joint air-to-ground missiles. Iran has embarked on a major modernization and build-up of its military force, one that includes selective purchases of new advanced weapons and an ominous nuclear weapons program. Iran has embarked on a major modernization and build-up of its military force, one that includes selective purchases of new advanced weapons and an ominous nuclear weapons program. U.S. officials contend that the Shiite Muslim regime will be in a position to construct a crude but workable nuclear device at the turn of the century. The development of a Persian bomb is Iran's top priority, and Tehran receives technology and aid from both Russia and China, according to Pentagon officials. In the field of conventional power, Iranian military planners are taking steps to bolster their naval forces, in particular with purchases of Chinese advanced cruise missiles. Moreover, Tehran has purchased new 
and upgraded surface warships, including five new Haodong Chinese fast attack craft delivered in March to the port at Bandar Abbas. The ships and cruise missiles, along with other recent deployments of missiles on tiny islands in the Strait of Hormuz, form the outline of a developing challenge to U.S. interests in the region. The Iranian Air Force is relatively small but has improved its arsenal of warplanes with Soviet-made MiG-29 Fulcrums and Su-24 Fencers as its primary combat aircraft. With a newly installed in-flight refueling capability, Iran's MiG-29s have been given greater range. The Fencers, Iran's main strike aircraft, could be used to deliver nuclear weapons if Iran ever acquires one of appropriate size and weight. Iran also is now building its own Soviet-designed Scud B and Scud C missiles, weapons having ranges of about 300 km and 500 km, respectively. In addition to possessing some 200 to 300 Scuds Iran also has expressed interest in purchasing Nodong medium-range ballistic missiles from North Korea once the Nodong is ready for sale. Iran's plan for its conventional forces evidently calls for creating units that are more maneuverable and have more advanced weapons for Tehran's specific purposes war against forward-deployed U.S. forces, Iraq, or other Persian Gulf nations. With a population of about 64 million, Iran maintains an armed force totaling about 513,000 active troops including its most elite force, the 120,000-strong Revolutionary Guard Corps. Another 350,000 are reservists. Most of the guards are ground forces. The Iranian Air Force, with 30,000 personnel, has an aircraft inventory that includes not only Soviet-designed systems, but also Chinese F-4s, F-5s, F-7s, and U.S.-made F-14s. The U.S. systems, though aging and difficult to repair, are still a key part of the forces. Reports have indicated that the Iranians are negotiating to buy Su-27 flankers from Russia. The Iranians already have 25 MiG-29s. They can be refueled by a fleet of KC-707 and KC-747 tankers, bought long ago by the Shah's government. These fighters plus some 12 Su-24 fencers provide Iran's principal air projection capabilities. The Su-24s have extended range, making them capable of reaching targets throughout the Persian Gulf region, according to the Pentagon. Efforts to increase Iran's air defense capability also have been stepped up. Its tradition of aircraft-to-aircraft -aircraft air defense, largely the result of the U.S. trained air force that developed before the 1978-79 revolution, is giving way to a ground-based air defense. The Iranians have small numbers of Chinese Model SA-2s and Russian SA-5 and SA-6 SAMs. Iran reportedly may purchase the highly capable SA-10 missile system that the Russians have been aggressively marketing as the S-300.